Hello guys, today we're going to talk about underused interaction. I know interaction isn't super exciting, in my experience it's very common that decks run way too few interaction pieces. Uh, spot removal is a core part of EDH, because without interaction the games would turn into who can ramp the fastest into their bombs. To me that's not an enjoyable gameplay experience. So my suggestion is to run between 8 and 10 spot removals, on top of 2 to 4 sweepers, depending on the deck of course. I will not cover obvious cards that most decks already run, like Austere Command, Rex Age, Beast Within and so on. This is more focused on cards that's in less than 3% of the decks, using EDH Rec as a source. So my philosophy around deck construction is geared towards the lower power levels. That's what I enjoy playing most. Um, my view is that most pre-cons come out of the box around a 3 or a 4 out of 10. When you fix the ramp and you fix the land base to be less slow lands, tap lands and stuff like 4 or 5 mono rocks or 5 CMC mono rocks, they will become more around a 4 or a 5 out of 10 and to me anything really under a 6 is considered low and at that power level most decks in most games have an impact on the outcome of the game the one who gets the best start who ramps the quickest and you know starts producing threats often gets the most hate and suffers most from the first sweeper if there is a sweeper and the people who have a slower or worse start can usually get around politics or start using politics to finesse their way into a late game. God hands won't win turn 5 or turn 6 and games usually take about an hour. When I build decks I normally keep them within a 50 to 100 dollar budget range. I either I treat them, try to keep them under 50 or under 100 uh, euros. Uh, on, my, on the screen now is some of my current decks listed on Moxfields and the link to the decks will be in the description. Alright, we start off with white and abolish is the first card. 3 mana instant, interact with artifacts and enchantments, you can discard a planes instead of paying its mana cost, ran in basically no decks, no one's running this card and it's just fantastic. You have a super nice bling version, from Prophecy, Old Border Foil, and of course the cheap regular version for 10 cents. Next up is Aura Blast. 2 mana, instant, destroys an enchantment, draws a card. There are like 15 enchantments that's used in more than 10% of decks on EDH Rec, so this one will find a home in most white decks. Next up is Condemn, a slightly worse Swords to Plowshares. You can't really take out anything, it has to be attacking, but it's a scent, so it's super cheap, super playable. Next up we have Destroy Evil. 2 mana instant, can destroy something with 4 or more toughness and uh, enchantment. So it's a fairly flexible card, very usable, very playable and super cheap. Here's a card I run in almost all my white decks. It's super good against early soul rings. It covers basically all enchantments you need to get rid of early. So like your Smothering Tide, your Rhystic Study, Mystic Grimora. It can even get Slam Dynamo. It can get basically everything you need early game for one mana. It is a sorcery and it has limitations. But for a white, this is this is premium. This card is insane. Leave no trace. Two mana. Instant. Destroy target enchantment and each other enchantment that shares a color with it. I cannot grasp why this card isn't run in more decks. In like 500 decks. This card is insane. It takes care of all enchantments of a single color. If something is multicolored, that's two, two different enchantment colors that's removed. It's just, I don't get it. 
I will run this in any non-heavy enchantment deck. You're playing Celestia, or like tokens, populate or whatever, run it. Boros, like Oscar artifacts, run it. Yes, guy, maybe not, but um, and maybe not like Ors of either. But if you're running Ors of Aristocrats and you're not running like Friction Reclamation or stuff like Blood Money or Black Market and stuff, run this card. And even then, like you can get rid of Mystic, uh, Mystic Remora or Ristic Study and still keep your stuff. So it's super flexible. Super good. Run this card, please, guys. The format needs it. Next up, Light of Hope. Enchantment interaction can get you some counters and gain you life. Flexible card, covers out of spaces, and at a single white, at instant speed, at ascent, I'd say this is super playable. Next up is Peace and Quiet. Two mana instant destroys two enchantments. I say this one is the worst out of all the cards I've listed, I think. You have to have two targets. You can't cast it on only one enchantment, so you have to have two targets. But uh, at instant speed, at two mana, I'd say this one is fine. Last out out of the white cards are Wing Shards. Three mana. Instant, target player sacrifices an attacking creature with Storm. So if someone has played any cards pre-combat, or you can politic your way into someone casting a cantrip, or maybe they want to interact as well, so Swords of Plowshares or whatever, you can use this both politically, and you can use it as a defense. So I say this card is absolutely fine. This card is even good. For 3 mana, someone attacking with a huge threat, some huge flyer or dragon or whatever, or a commander even, Voltron, this one is great protection. Next up is red, I only have one card, Echo in Ruin. If you have a treasure token, you can destroy all treasure tokens, because they can sack and response. But uh, as a 2 drop, competing with a braid, I'd say a braid is better, but um, this works against tokens like Broody Clad and uh, all the you know token shenanigans. So it's a good card. Next color is green, and the first card is the Glamour. I found, uh, really high on this card. Really, really like this card. So instead of destroying, you're shuffling it into their library, making recursion and uh, taking it back from graveyard or reanimating it even harder. It's instant for two, hits both enchantments and artifacts. This one is a real, really nice um, interaction piece that goes into most, if not all, green decks. Next up is Gleeful Sabotage. Hits both artifacts and enchantments. It is sorcery speed, but you do get Conspire, so you can tap two green creatures to copy it, hitting two targets for two mana. I'd say that rate is on par at least with instant speed interaction. At budget, it's a great card. Next up is Spring Cleaning. Instant speed only hits enchantments, but has clash. So you reveal the top card, and if you have a higher CMC than the opposing player, you destroy all their enchantments. So I'd say this at two mana at instant speed is totally playable and overall a great card. Next up is Natural State. Much like Fragmentize, it hits low-end enchantments and artifacts. This one is instant, but only hits up to three, so it doesn't get rid of Smothering Tithe, but it gets like Ristic Study um, and Rubistic Remora, Soul Rings, early Soul Rings as well. So yeah, I say this card is great and should be played a lot more. Next up is Unravel the Ether. Again, a shuffle effect, so instead of destroying it, you shuffling it back into the library, making it harder to find and recur. Two mana instant, hits both artifacts and enchantments, great card. Next up is Wilt. 
destroyed artifacts and enchantments at 2 mana at instant speed and on top of getting all you need as an interaction piece you get also get cycling so I think this is a great card. Next color is black, I have two cards, Agent of Erebos and um, it's an enchantment creature zombie, 4 mana 2-2 two, two. on ETB you get to exile another player's graveyard uh, on the second ETB of an enchantment you get to exile a graveyard again so repeatable graveyard interaction uh, we all know that, that the reanimation pieces and recursion stuff has become so common that almost all decks or all decks really should have graveyard interaction and I think this one is a great pickup for any like zombie deck or any enchantment based deck in black or just on its own. Next up we have Curtain's Call. Instant for 6, destroying 2 creatures, any creature types, any colors. And has Undaunted, so it costs 1 less for each opponent, so it costs 3 less. So it's basically 3 mana, destroy 2 creatures, instant speed. Recently reprinted, it was kind of expensive before, but recently reprinted in the new D&D set. So it's a great pickup and a great interaction piece for creature removal. I have no blue cards, but I have two multicolored cards. And the first one is Destructive Revelry. It's two mana, red and a green. Destroy an artifact or enchantment at instant speed. And also does two damage to the controller. So it has all you need. It has instant speed. It hits both artifacts and enchantments. Add a little damage, but it's more cost restrictive. So it only goes into gruel decks. But generally, at 30 cents, I think this is a great pickup. And lastly, we have Witherbloom Command. At Black Green, Sorcery, you can mill and recur a land, so it's a flexible card. You can destroy something with two or less CMC, non creature though. You can get minus three, minus one to a creature, making it easier to attack, and you can drain for two. So the price you pay is <laughs> it's a bit expensive because it's a pioneer card. You get sorcery speed, but you have a few different options here. So I really like this card even at 2 euro. There you have it guys, 22 interaction pieces for your games in 2023. Let's hope Wizards learns a few things from their mistakes, improve print quality and start supporting LGSs more. Hopefully the peak of Magic is still to come and we can keep enjoying this fantastic game. Try spreading positivity when you make your voices heard, be constructive and know that we can keep playing this game even without Wizards. Much love guys.